Hello and welcome to the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. The global pandemic has dramatically altered businesses and their markets through mass closures, disruptions of supply chains, and of course, working from home. It's a time for thinking and working differently, which is why one of the leading business schools in the country with a world-renowned faculty is working with this radio show to bring support to our state's business community. Ray Smith is the Associate Dean for Executive Education at the Darla Moore School of Business at the University of South Carolina in Columbia, and he is partnering with the South Carolina Business Review in a series of upcoming interviews and Zoom conferences entitled managerial insights supporting businesses during an uncertain time. Ray, welcome to the program. Uh, thanks, Mike. It's good to be here. So first of all, give us an overview of your department there at the Moore School. We face out to the business community on a daily basis. We educate business leaders and managers from organizations throughout the state and internationally as well. We run a range of executive education courses to help them develop their leaders, managers, uh, but also to have some impacts on their the strategies that they're developing. We use our faculty to, to do those programs. We basically run ourselves much like a business. And now walk us through the genesis of this particular project that you and I are going to be working on now for a while. Well, of course, when the coronavirus hit, and it hit us at the at USC, like everybody else, and for us, in fact, what happened was uh, quite dramatic in a way. We found out that the university was closing towards the end of that week, the Monday morning, we were halfway through a business analytics class that we run on a regular basis for the Army. So we had to go in on Monday morning, even though the school was closed, and we had to explain that the course had stopped, that we had to leave the building. But we discussed with them how could we continue the rest of the course. And so we, we all agreed that we would continue the course, but online, like other parts of the school had to do as well. We were feeling what businesses generally were feeling, and it occurred to me, can we do something to help in this environment? You know, we have world-class business education right here in South Carolina. So why can't we actually work with our faculty, get them to share their insights and their knowledge with the business community to help them get through this difficult time and emerge on the other side with plans to pick up again? That's how it started. And then I thought, well, I'd been on your show before representing a Doco Film Fest and had a good experience, had good impact as well. So I thought, well, let's contact Mike and the South Carolina Business Review. Obviously, you were very enthusiastic, and here we are. And we certainly appreciate you reaching out to us with this idea. And, of course, we took it to our team, and everybody is, has agreed that this would be a big help, we think, to the business community. And so now walk us through what the structure will be like. We'll be doing an interview once a week with a professor from the university on a business topic, and then we'll be followed up a few days later with a little bit longer live Zoom conference. That's basically it. So what I've done, I contacted some of our top executive education faculty, those people that spend a lot of time with the business community. The first step is you're interviewing them, as you know, one at a time. Then following what we will be doing is offering a Zoom conference call with that member of faculty to go through the topic that they were discussing in your show in more detail, but now be available for questions and answers. And so this is a totally pro bono. Nobody pays for anything. Well, go ahead and share with us what some of the interviews will be, what some of the topics will be over the next few weeks. Sure. We're going to kick off with uh, Dean Peter Bruce. He's going to be taking a big picture view and explore why we need to plan ahead for these unexpected events so that we are prepared when they arrive. And then he will be linking that to the topics that we'll be covering through the rest of the program. Next, we'll have Professor Mark Cicchini. He's from our accounting and finance department. He's the chair. He will be looking at uh, financial planning and leadership and how the normal rules aren't applying at the moment. So we need to actually think about how do we overcome those? How do we address them uh, to get through it? And then we also will be exploring the CARES Act, the uh, economic relief package, and the effect on individuals and small businesses and how that can be utilized. Then we move on to Professor DJ Shepka. He's talking about emergency succession planning. Now, whether you're Boris Johnson and heading a government or whether you're running a shop or a bank, whatever it might be, you need a plan. Then the topics that will be following that will be virtual team working, uh, staffing in the current situation, as well as building resilient supply chains for the future. Ray, thank you so much for presenting this idea and for helping to execute it. Thank you very much, Mike. Ray Smith 
is the Associate Dean for Executive Education at the Darla Moore School of Business at the University of South Carolina in Columbia. We will have a link to his department posted at our webpage so you can learn more and keep track of everything. Our web address is southcarolinapublicradio.org, where you can hear this show again and subscribe to this podcast, as well as connect with us through our social media network. With the South Carolina Business Review, this is Mike Switzer. The views expressed on the South Carolina Business Review do not necessarily reflect those of South Carolina Public Radio.